Hi, it's Joe here, and I'm in Sumy, Ukraine. Let me ask you, have you seen all the pictures of the amazingly beautiful Ukrainian and Russian women on the internet? You know, the dating, marriage agency, the mail order bride websites. And thought, you know, this industry is just one big scam and con for beginning to end. There's no way I'm ever going there. Or are you maybe like I was before I came to the Ukraine and thought, I wonder if it's possible. I wonder if there's a sliver of truth to this ugly industry. I wonder if maybe a younger, beautiful, amazing Ukrainian wife is waiting for me in the Ukraine. Well, uh, the story has a happy ending. Uh, but the thing is, I'm shooting this video so that you can avoid the painful, costly mistakes that I made, made on my quest. So, you see, when I came to the Ukraine, for myself, I just had to know what's the truth. Like, seriously, really. And I went to agency after agency, and I could see with my, I could feel I could see um, the corruption in the agencies, the lies. Um, so the way, the only way I could find to get to the real hidden truth was by talking to a myriad, many, many Ukrainian ladies. So what I'm bringing you in this video series is the truth through Ukrainian ladies. Every lady that I've interviewed, I know for some time, um, some are married, some single, younger, beautiful ladies are going to bring you the truth to this mail order bride or marriage agency business here in the Ukraine. And they're going to give you a ton of tips so that you can be successful in your pursuit. You'll learn all the landmines to avoid. You definitely want to study this video series and learn everything you can before you venture out on your own. So I wish you the best of luck and much happiness in your pursuit. Looking for love, looking for your other half in the Ukraine. Good morning, Evgenia. Good morning. Thank you so much for talking to me this morning. You're welcome, Jeff. We're in a nice hot uh, June morning here in Sumy, Ukraine. Yeah, it's very hot. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Finally, summer's here. So maybe tell us a little bit about yourself so the viewers know uh, maybe how old you are, if you're married or single, mm -hmm. and uh, if you've ever been to an agency. Um, I'm 39 old. And I have problems. Don't look 39. <laughs> you <laughs> Thanks. look much younger. <laughs> Thanks. This is because I have nice mind now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he makes you relax. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, and and uh, I'm married second time. First, uh -huh. my, my husband this was uh, outsider. He a was foreigner, a Lebanese, yes. Lebanese uh -huh. man. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes. And uh, what do you ask for? And have you ever been to an agency? Uh, uh, no, I never, but I heard many stories. Mm -hmm. So, in this interview, you've agreed to tell your horror story of your first marriage, married to a foreigner, to a Lebanese man. And uh, the reason you're sharing this is to help other Ukrainian ladies to be careful. Of course, they, they need to be careful. It's a cautionary, mm -hmm. uh, cautionary red flag and what to look for in, in a man and what to be careful of. So, we'll talk to this uh, about this in a moment. Uh, first, let me ask you. The Western man, um, when he's looking for a lady in the Ukraine, he, he goes to Google and he types in beautiful Ukrainian wife or beautiful Ukrainian woman, and he gets all these websites mm -hmm. of many beautiful, like model looking Ukrainian women. And we don't believe it because we see all of these YouTube videos and these scams and stuff like this. But is it true? You know, is there a ton, is there a lot of beautiful, younger, smart, educated, amazing Ukrainian women. Of course. We have so many, exactly in our city, we have so many nice women. Beautiful and beautiful. Sing single. This is, uh, we need to back to story for uh, before, before. Uh -huh. So, single, beautiful women and they can't find a good man. They're looking for a husband. Yes. Why is it? Why is it? Because educated woman, she never and the smart woman, she never get uh, will take men who drink, who don't work, who stay uh, without work. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, how? What he? What? What you, you can talk with this man? He don't know how to talk. Is that and is that a problem in Ukraine? Mm -hmm. I mean, he don't care about his woman. This is from first, huh? he don't care about women, he don't uh, <coughs> care about kids, he uh, stay, uh, not all of course men, but they uh, uh, more than 50%. 50 of Ukrainian men? Yes. So that's why there's so many single, beautiful Ukrainian yes. women? Because they're not going to just marry anyone. Uh, maybe they, they marry and they live and they stay alone now with kids. 
Mm -hmm. They're single they and find, divorced. Yes, like mm -hmm. divorced. And mm -hmm. they cannot find some nice man. Uh -huh. okay. And what about, uh, what about single woman with, single mom, single woman with child? Is it even harder to find a good man that will take your child in Ukraine? I don't think so. I have two kids before I, can, I find my husband. He's a uh -huh. Ukrainian man. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so that's why there's a lot of beautiful single Ukrainian women, because not enough good Ukrainian men single. Why here? What? Why here? Yeah, I'm just paraphrasing what you said. Mm -hmm. That uh, the reason that there's so many beautiful, younger Ukrainian women is because not enough good men left. The good ones are married. They search for better life. Mm -hmm. That's my next question.